Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between Cat 5 and Cat 6, specifically Cat 5e. Um, so we're just going to quickly talk through uh, sort of a few differences with this and then the, the sort of uh, potential benefits of, of the two cables. So um, just from the offset, uh, the cables obviously look pretty similar. Uh, they've both got the same out outer sheath in uh, same colour. These are both low smoke zero halogen cables uh, which basically means in the event of a fire they don't produce uh, as much toxic smoke as, as other cable might. Um, they're sort of purple to highlight the fact they're internal cables. Um, so we'll just go straight into it. So obviously this is the Cat 5, this is the Cat 6. You can see straight away there's a difference between these cables and that is the thickness is immediately apparent so if I sort of hold them closer to the camera there you can see straight away there is a difference this this cat 5e is considerably thinner than the the cat 6 um, the reason for that well it's twofold so if we sort of get, look at the cat 6 initially it's probably slightly more obvious so you can see that it has this inner sheath uh, this inner separator in the middle sorry uh, you see that in the middle there? And basically what that's for is to separate all these pairs. So there's four pairs, um, they're all running through the cable, and this, this sort of separator in the middle stops those cables from sort of touching each other and potentially cuts down the, uh, the possibility of crosstalk, um, and the, which is basically electricity passing between those two signals, um, uh, between those two cables, which can cause an interference in the signal. Um, so that straight away, that's one of the reasons why this cable is fatter. Um, I have heard um, in a couple of places that the sheath is thicker. Um, I've got a couple of pairs, bits of sheath there. So this is the Cat 6 and this is the Cat 5. I, I can't see any difference myself. If it is thicker, then it's only marginal. Um, apparently that makes a slight difference to the, to the cable as well. Um, I've not confirmed that. I've had a look around and I can't confirm that it is thicker, but apparently that is. Um, so the other reason that the cable is thicker is not only because this um, this separator here, but also because of the way that the pairs are wound. So what I'll do is I'll just get the oranges uh, and I'll bring them up to the camera and you can see. So this is a Cat 5 and this is the Cat 6. Sorry, I've got the cord there. So that's the Cat 6. So you can see if I sort of hold them next to each other, that it's the winding or the, the way that they're wrapped around each other is much tighter on the Cat 6. Um, so basically there's more cable in, in a sort of smaller space. So, um, so it's, of course it's going to be fatter. Um, and the Cat 5 is much more of a sort of slack uh, twist. It does mean that if you're ever yeah, using this, it's actually easier to use the Cat 5 because, um, well, for two reasons. First of all, because you haven't got to cut out the inner core, but also because the sort of twists are, there's less twists to unwind. So those are the sort of main physical differences between the cable. Um, they, they've both got you know, uh, drawstrings, they've both got the um, you know, same sheath in, they both use the same sort of copper. Uh, these, these are both uh, solid copper cores, so um, they're just used for, for normal runs rather than for patching. Um, so apart from that, there's not a huge amount of difference. Now, Cat 5E was an improvement on Cat 5 um, and was pretty much standard for years, Cat 5E. Um, Cat 6 has really sort of taken over as the standard now. Um, in terms of for domestic instalment, you probably not wouldn't notice any difference if you got these two. So this is up to uh, gigabit speeds, which means you know one gig per second. Um, this is up to 10 gigs per second. Now, if you've got anything in your house that is running anywhere near that speed, then if you've got a lot better equipment than I have because uh, I haven't got anything near that. Um, and these cables, these cables really aren't going to be tested at all, either of them, um, for most equipments in a domestic home. And the other thing is with, uh, with the sort of domestic home as well is that the, the runs are normally quite short unless you live in some sort of huge mansion um, or you're running a data centre, then really you probably wouldn't see much difference between the Cat 5e and the Cat 6 uh, on a domestic scale. However, because Cat 5e is sort of redundant these days, and Cat 6 is quite is you know not only readily available but it's standard. There's not a huge price difference now. It's not much cheaper for Cat 5e. Um, you know, I'd probably spend a little bit more and just get the Cat 6 because you know it's it's sort of future proofing a little bit more. If we do ever get to a stage where we've got 10 gigabit speeds, then you'll you'll be prepared and you don't have to change all the cable, which obviously can be quite disruptive. Um, so that's a quick summary on Cat 5e uh, and Cat 6. Uh, I hope that um, this has helped you understand the differences. I will also try and cover some other cables as well. I'll get some uh, shielded Cat 6. Um, we can look at external Cat 6 as well and sort of try and understand what the difference between the external is. Um, 
but yeah, that's about it. So if you've got any comments, then uh, please write them below. Um, if you like the video, then please like it and, uh, and share and uh, subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi, I'm Hugh Jones, the owner of Home Network Solutions Berkshire. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like it and why not subscribe to our channel. Thanks once again.